Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will take a look at pixel mapping. In the last tutorial we looked at adding fixtures to your plot. There is one more type of object that can be added to a plot and that's a pixel map. This tutorial will show you how to add a pixel map to your plot and then how to control the fixtures within the pixel map based on stock media content sent to it by a pixel map layer. We'll also take a quick look at how to import your own media content. To add a pixel map, you must first enable the pixel map edit button in the plot window. Then select the add pixel map tab in the properties panel. Drag across the fixtures in your plot to add a pixel map. Initially, this will have an aspect ratio of 4-3, so you may want to change this to something more appropriate to your plot. In this case, I will choose 1-1. One one. Just like with gangs, pixel maps can be dragged to position, resized and rotated. All values can be directly edited in the properties panel. They can also be removed by pressing the delete button. Position your pixel map to surround all the fixtures you wish it to apply content to. Next we need to add some pixel map layers to the show. Open the fixture window and press the fixture schedule button. You can either search for pixel map layer or find it listed under the manufacturer hog. Add as many layers as you will require. Pixel map layers don't need to be patched, although do renumber them so that they are different from the fixtures in the plot. As soon as the pixel map layers are added to the show, they will appear in the properties panel of the pixel map. Here you must assign which layers will be able to control this pixel map. This allows for independent control of multiple pixel maps in more complex setups. The order in which you assign the layers will determine their priority. Higher number layers will always be on top of lower numbered layers, regardless of the user numbers assigned in the fixture window. Now that we have added a pixel map and assigned pixel map layers to it, the pixel map edit button can be disabled and we are ready to start programming. Select your fixtures and then in the plot directory, choose which parameters you wish to pixel map. Then select the plot which contains the desired fixtures. You will see this applied to your fixtures in the programmer in much the same way as you would in intensity, position, color or beam palette. Now select a pixel map layer in this case, fixture 1001, and set it to an appropriate intensity. Open the media picker by holding down the open key and selecting it from the main toolbar, or use the shortcut pig, open, and beam. Now you can select the desired media, which will be applied to all pixel maps that the layer has been assigned to. Just like with any media server, the pixel map layer fixtures have parameters such as image position, rotation, scaling, color and play speed. When you are happy with your look, record the cue or scene in exactly the same way as you normally would. A pixel map layer has a small amount of stock content. To add your own custom content, insert a USB stick with the content, open the shows manager and select the pixel map content tab. Click here to add a new folder and give it a name. Right click on it and select Renumber to assign a DMX value. Locate the content on the USB stick and drag across to this folder. DMX values will automatically be assigned to the content files. If you have already given a three number prefix to your content files and folders, then DMX values will be assigned as per the prefix. This new content will now be available for use with the pixel map layer in the media picker. For detailed information regarding supported file types and ways to best prepare your content for importing, please refer to the plot section of the manual, which as always can be found by pressing the help button on your console or HOG4 PC. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at connecting your console or HOG4 PC to Lightconverse visualization software. Thank you for watching.